I love listening to music, and oftentimes singing along. Although most of the lyrics I hear do not resonate with me, occasionally a lyric will make me stop and think. In their song Suit and Jacket, Judah and the Lion sing the lyrics, I ain't trading my youth for no suit and jacket, because everybody I know is growing old, is growing old too quickly. When I listened to these lines for the first time with my dad, they truly spoke to me. Their meaning, it is important not to lose sight of the present by always dreaming of the future. This is a realization I have had entering my senior year at St. Thomas Academy. Since the beginning of my time here, my focus has mostly been in the future. Whether it is wishing I was finished with the next quiz, test, or practice, or looking forward to the next school break, I often find myself uttering the phrase, I can't wait until. Although this phrase is quite common and usually carries no true weight, it is a testament to how I, myself, am growing old too quickly. With only three quarters left in my senior year, I now understand the importance of putting down the binoculars of foresight and focusing on the present. As much as I am excited about the things in life that lie ahead of me, I know that there are so many things that I'm going to miss when I leave STA and head off for college. It is so easy to wish away time. When studying for a hard test or dreading the arrival of a tough practice, it is easy to think about being done. I think it is important for us all, especially us seniors, to slow down and cherish those things about our lives that we love and may not have once we begin our next chapter. There are a million things I'm going to miss when I leave for college and that I want to cherish. I'm sure I will stay up late and study many times in college, but it simply will not be the same as my late nights now. Currently, the thing that gets me through those long nights is a group chat I share with Andy Ridley, Hayden Owsley, Abraham Yosef, and Jack Kelly. I will miss the five of us joking around so much about our mutual frustration and our lack of understanding of the concepts that these conversations actually end up facilitating easier learning of the subjects. I know, that the, I know that these guys will never fail to make me laugh and help me learn. I'm going to miss the satisfaction of finishing a workout for swimming and being able to bond with the boys about the pain we all feel, as well as leaving the cold pool to listen to Hot Shower by Chance the Rapper with Andy Ridley and then proceeding to take a hot shower. I'm going to miss John Barnes, our swim coach, to whom I can attribute the formation of my work ethic, and also my uh, nature of procrastination. He taught me the benefits of grinding through a swim practice, but I also learned to live by what he meant to be the sarcastic advice of, if you leave something until the last minute, it'll only take a minute. I'm going to miss carpooling early in the morning with Jack Kelly, vibing to whatever music our mood puts us onto for the day. I'm going to miss hearing Zach Holper yell, hey, Nick! from light years down the hall in the middle of the school day something that always manages to brighten my day and elicit an hey, Zach! matching his volume in response. There are also plenty of things I'm going to miss when I move away from home. I'll miss waking up at 5.30, not because of the time, but because I know that my dad will be waiting for me when I make my way to the door with a protein bar. I will miss blasting music in the car with my sister as we make our way to a nutritious meal of whatever fast food we decide on for the night. I will miss the daily life advice I get from my mom, as she always seems to know what to say at exactly the right moment, even when I don't ask for it. Now, the more I think about the future, I become less and less ready to jump straight into it. I've realized that in life, many things are temporary, and it is our responsibility to enjoy those things while we have them, so we are not left regretting the way we lived our past. The truth is that it is impossible to predict what the future may hold. When we think of the future, Often, it is with a degree of certainty. Personally, I spend much of my time in the present making plans for the future. However, the sense of security given to us by a plan can be false. With intricate plans detailing every moment of our lives weeks into the future, we forget the fact that life can give and life can take away, all in one moment. With a friend like Gus Werner, this is especially apparent. Something as simple as devouring a Chips Ahoy cookie, which, admittingly, may have contained some peanut butter, is nearly enough to send him into anaphylactic shock. And activities as lighthearted as dancing at disco are enough to make him pass out in the back of this very court. <laughs> to me, Gus is a daily reminder that I need to count my blessings and enjoy the moments that I have in front of me because the future may throw me in any which way it pleases. Although Gus's problems have all, have all had happy endings and we have been able to look back upon them and laugh, others are not so lucky. With the recent deaths of a seventh grade student from Egan, and two senior students from Sibley High School in Crete and Durham Hall. We are reminded that everything can change in a moment. In fact, 
John Gondek, a close friend of my family, was just recently diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Big John, as we call him, has always seemed so strong and invincible. He is a bright and energetic man who was always willing to play with my sister and I when we were younger, no matter how demanding we were. Now, he does not have all the time in the world, and his future is considerably shorter than what it once was. With reminders such as these, it is important to stay present in the moment, as living in the future prevents us from being true to those around us right now. Gus and John have helped me to realize that every moment that I spend with those I love and care about is precious and deserves my full attention. Right now, in this moment, everyone that matters most to me is listening to this speech. It is my duty to be fully present in this moment as it is in every other moment of my life. Papa, I know you'll watch this later and you wish you could be here. I love you and I feel your support even from afar. It is so easy to forget what is going on in the current moment while dreaming of the future. We all need something to look forward to and work towards. However, it is important that we focus on the present while also keeping those future goals in mind. We all have hopes and dreams and we shouldn't drop them as the destination still matters. However, that destination matters less if you don't even remember how you got there. In the song, No Hurry, Zach Brown Band makes a similar conclusion to the one made by Judah and the Lion. Zach sings, I ain't in no hurry. I'd be a fool now to worry about all those things I can't change. Although we have to prepare ourselves to grow into that suit and jacket, we must be careful not to grow too quickly, as the only things that we can change are those in front of us right now. Live your lives. Make every moment matter. Thank you, and God bless.